Christmas Village 2021 food tutorial series. Even if you have 20, 30, maybe 40 tasks still open on your hands and way behind schedule, you need to pause all your course or your gross works and you need to start doing some painstaking jobs, you need to start adding details. Otherwise, if you wait to have completed all the main structure before adding details. You won't be able to get if you are doing something wrong. Yes, you will get at that moment, but it will be too late or very late to correct something if you make some mistakes. So from now on, it is essential to add a good balance of precision of details to the main work based on the structure. For the first time in this season I will be doing some Middle Ages miniaturist work. Well guys, another task to open because it is time to uh, add some details here and there and especially in the ancient Greek park section. Maybe you have already figured out that I will be talking about columns and supports. Uh, and I procured a large variety of different sizes of uh, styrofoam. And uh, for the first time, I will simply use or just use extruded styrofoam. You already know that I love this uh, format here. The panels are 9 mm thick and uh, they support very well the carving and everything else. Then I will also use uh, those pieces there, a little uh, less yellow than those ones. Those are always uh, um, extruded styrofoam panels, not the same brand. And this comes from a panel that has a thickness of uh, two centimeters. And then this other one there, and those other one that comes from a panel, uh, maybe the same brand here, but with a different color that has uh, four centimeters of thickness. And I will be doing multiple types of them, and not just simple columns, but also supports. Um, and I'm curious to see how they will react to some carving because I've never done. Uh, carving with those um, uh, brand, with those uh, panels here, this brand here. Um, okay, and guys, new bottle of glue. I ended the last one uh, at the end of part eight of the 2021 series. So, so for this part nine, I will inoculate a new bottle of PVC glue of white glue. Uh, let's start. Let's start with the smallest one. Okay, I will need the two, two columns. Okay, and I don't think I will go with the columns in this case that have, have some bricks on it. So let me just prepare them so I can see how they react to aging. I think they will go completely marble, completely white or uh, yellowish marble, I still don't know yet. Okay, they react very well. Okay, I forgot the dimension here. Okay, the dimension in this case are 2 by 2 centimeters. Okay, and the height here is 4 centimeters. Okay. So here we have four centimeters and two by two centimeters. Uh, columns like that, nope. Uh, I will need a top and a base. Let's start with the uh, top here. I've precut also from the nine millimeter thick panels 
those little pieces there. This is uh, 2.4 by 2.4, yes. And then this is, I think, 2.1 by 2.1. No, it's still 2.4. I will need the smallest one. Uh, this one is, yes, 2.1 by 2.1. Let's see here if they are smaller. Yes, they are smaller. Okay, I will go with top here, some more aging effect. This would be the top. So I will go this way. Then let's start with the glue. And with my brush here. Okay. And I will try to go as precise as I can in the middle in order to center it. Okay, I will try to center this piece here. They don't need to be precise, precise, as you may think, okay? Okay. Then I will need another piece of... Uh, I simply have to have use the correct one, or this is for... Yes, correct one, because I have some thicker one. And this is not, this is not, those are thicker, yes, those are thicker. Okay, so anyway, uh, this seems thicker, sorry guys, yes, this also is thicker. I'm buzzing, let's drink up, you does look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on Like that one fin gay song I'm stunning, you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me The night is young and so are we
think, uh, first thing, uh, this uh, from here, this tire from here is very good also for carving, as we have just seen, and for aging too. Okay, so, okay, I think I will continue using it even in the future. Okay, let's see if I can get here. Okay. Second type of gown. So I will have this one and this one. Okay. And I will put them in marble and brick column. Okay. And now I will show you, not show you every and single one. I will go with some support here. Okay. I will take a couple of these and one of these. Okay, I will do something like that. Okay, first the dimension here: nine millimeters thick, nine millimeters thick, and this is uh, two centimeters thick. This is a three point three by three point three, and this is a four point one by four point one. Okay, little pause here. I need some tools. Okay. I brought a new statue on the scene, guys. This is here, okay? Uh, <clears throat> let's go with something here. I don't think it will be useful, but who cares? Okay, now as possible then the top here and we paint the same color here or the top here okay so this will be pure bronze here and then the rest or just here pure bronze I don't know yet I will uh, see once I I start painting them okay but here is a way to elevate uh, uh, something more the Statues, okay. This will be for uh, another part of the ancient park, and so on. So three types of, of columns here. So I will go ahead and making them. I will show you the final result in some uh, very very long minutes, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. After many many hours, I have finished building the columns or the pedestal or the supports. Uh, whatever okay uh, basically i have uh, three types of uh, columns or supports one pure brick uh, column there and i carved every single uh, brick there okay and this is one type then i have a uh, small little column or there 
plain stone, plain marble that I will use uh, to support the end railings of my twin stairs. Then I have uh, an intermediate, <laughs> a middle eight um, column or support there. This is uh, four centimeters, then zero nine zero nine, so five point eight centimeters tall, uh, and then also two very tall, very high uh, columns. And I've already shown you that I will use them as that. Okay, and then eight very small, very tiny supports there. And they are only uh, 2 cm plus 0.9 plus 0.9, 3.8 cm. Those are uh, 7 cm. Yes, those are 7 cm. No, those are 9 cm. 9 cm, then 0.909, 10.8 cm tall. <laughs> it may sound illogical to have a so tall column, a couple of so tall columns or pedestals or supports. But it will be clear in no, not in some minutes, but when I will do the final recap. And oh, yes, another thing I can confirm that this new type of exuded uh, styrofoam I'm using is way more suited for texturing, it is less elastic than the white one I'm usually using. So, uh, each and every scratch I make with my usual tin foil there will stick there and but it is also true that if you make an error a mistake it will be visible forever those are very well carved <laughs> at least in my uh, opinion okay so um yes that's all for this part let's go with something else peace out hey guys let's go with something completely different Never attempted this before, and nothing to do with the clams, but something to do with the ancient Greek part. I have here two pieces of wood, two wooden lath there, and they have a length of 29 centimeters, a thickness of 5 millimeters, and a width of 1 centimeter. So, 1 centimeter here, 5 millimeters here, 29 centimeters there. <laughs> My village, <laughs> you have understood it, it is supposed to have gone through each era of the history. So, ancient Greek part, modern but ancient Greek part, um, Victorian era because Lamax Caddington buildings are uh, settled in uh, uh, Victorian era, and some medieval times with my walls and everything will follow in the next. Uh, parts of this 2021 series so at some point after medieval times and before uh, latest uh, Victorian era came uh, Gothic times came Gothic architecture uh, one example for all Notre Dame de Paris the musical very well known uh, all over the world the Notre Dame Cathedral was plain Gothic, gargoyles and every other elements. Th those are Gothic elements with uh, those typical pointy arcs, okay? And so, uh, Gothic, but I don't want something very dark, such as could be, it can be a, a graveyard, a Gothic graveyard. No, a light <laughs> Gothic uh, architecture, fences. I've never attempted this before, I just told you, but I could have gone with, uh, all the, um, in the ancient Greek part section, I could have gone with my usual uh, small walls, old stone walls, or my kind of fences, or my uh, skewers and uh, made fences. No, I want something different, a mix of wood, plastic, and uh, styrofoam. I still don't have a styrofoam right now. Sorry, I will cut what I will need in many hours in the future. And wood here, and then the little things I will show you inside this box are maybe 
found very easily all around the world, USA, Australia, I don't know, everywhere, but in Europe, especially in Italy, are a rare item. We have different uh, um, rules concerning uh, foods in Italy and in Europe. <laughs> you will understand uh, why I'm talking about food. Uh, so very difficult to find just uh, two sellers. I found just two sellers online that have those kind of things in Italy. Amazon, impossible to find anything like that in Europe. So, uh, what I have inside here, sorry for the box, it is a recycled box. I have those little things there. Oh, you have recognized them, yes, if you live outside, the, in somewhere else, except Europe, maybe USA. Those are plastic sandwich sticks use them i don't know to to close your sandwiches you make uh, bread uh, lettuce uh, i don't know maybe cheese tomatoes etc and then another a slice of bread then oops a stick on top of it and you serve them at your preferred cocktail they are different colors there why i needed those ones Look at the point there. It, uh, it is almost like a narrow or a spare, okay? So very gothic, very, very good. This is almost uh, uh, Christmas, almost uh, uh, festive, almost a pure Lemax, a bowl, uh, a little bowl on top of a, uh, of a pole there. But this is absolutely gothic, guys. Maybe some other darker color, you will, you will uh, uh, see it better, okay? So, the point there, arrow, we, arrow point, uh, spare points, call it whatever you want. I will use them all along this piece of woods there. I will do some holes, that's the reason why I have some uh, drill tips there and an end drill. And this is because it is a very delicate work and I can not risk to uh, not be precise using my standard drill or my Dremel tool. So, rotary tool, Dremel. So I will go with uh, absolutely all and work and then I will glue them there. And then I will paint, of course, and I will go with uh, something more, okay? So, uh, obviously, I need to cut them there, uh, like that, let me do an example there, I would need to cut them right there on the base, okay, then a little more, if I haven't cut it right, then I will file the rest in order to have something regular there and flat if, if possible, okay. Okay, almost something like that. Uh, some of them are not perfectly straight, so I will uh, eliminate uh, not use them. Okay, uh, this is plastic. Okay, then I will uh, drill some holes there. Then I will place them like this or like that. Okay, uh, with a 90 degree rotation. Those are not a cylindrical poles. Those are a little, uh, I don't know, uh, oval. And there and the, the here are way larger than on the uh, top there. I will use them all uh, with all their length, so no need to um, to cut them and measure them. So, okay, I will use them there, and uh, they are uh, sh the fence will be uh, higher, taller than the figurines, <laughs> uh, smaller than some columns and uh, everything else okay so this will be good the total height there will be a little more than 7.5 around 8 centimeters okay guys so uh, let's proceed i will need to uh, mark those woods there i will need to go as precise as possible to the middle there and uh, to the middle and i will use some of them um, I will do 
I will start, let's say then, I will have some music for you guys, because this will be tedious to, to see. I will start from one centimeter there, okay? Then in the middle, then one hole each one and a half centimeter. So one centimeter and a half. So every single uh, sandwich stick there will be uh, will be separated by the next one by one and a half centimeters. Impossible to do a precise at the millimeter work. Uh, I will need to accept a certain um, a certain uh, um, amount of error here. I'm doing it by hand, and this is why I'm using wood because this is hard enough to uh, to um, maintain everything straight linear. Okay, uh, using just a five millimeters of uh, styrofoam, um, it will um, bend way over each time. So. Uh, I will not have a perfectly horizontal fence, but those two pieces. Uh, okay, I will need to because I will I will do something. Okay, so let's go with the measurement there. I will turn it upside down there, and I will measure it. And so let's go with some music, guys. <laughs> Starting from the holes, I've drilled the holes two times, one for the smaller, one with a smaller uh, drill tip, one with a large drill tip, then I've filed the holes, then I've sent papered uh, both the uh, wooden lath there, then I've cut the <coughs> small balls from each and single one of those uh, 38 uh, sandwich sticks there. Then I also sandpapered uh, the back there in order to have almost a um, flat uh, surface there. Here, okay. Now it's time to glue them where they need to be glued. Okay, there. My new bottle of glue. Sorry for the noise, guys. I think it's pouring water outside. Now it's a little confusing because 
I have plenty of colors. Obviously, I repaint it uh, it black or some uh, rust or so. I, I don't know. I still need to think about it one thing at a time. I will go with the second here. I will fast forward some minutes, guys. Okay, both sets are done. Oops. I will need to wait some hours at least uh, before continuing with the, the fences there. I still need one more thing to do. And I will use some styrofoam, okay? Mm, but for now it's all guys, I think, yes. And then I will also remove the, ex uh, the excess of uh, glue there. If I have too much glue, I will remove it once it has dried and uh, then I will file some more here because I think they are coming f underneath it so this will not stand uh, straight there and also it is heavy now but I will try, I will find a solution later. So guys, see you at this point, I think it is 2.15 a.m., yes, let's go eat something and see you tomorrow, I think, I hope, bye. Well, two days have passed since I finished doing the sticks to the, uh, to the food there, <laughs> yes, an enormity, but uh, the glue has become completely transparent there, my usual PVC glue. Now it's time for, do, for doing some adjustments. And I've also prepared the same thing I've done with the wood here, in plain um, styrofoam, okay? And instead of using my drill and my drill tip, I've used my usual skewer to uh, to the holes uh, in, in the same uh, path so one centimeters from each side and one hole each 1.5 centimeters totally 18 holes for each of the styrofoam pieces there now first i need to uh, sandpaper the back here because i have uh, some of the sticks that are uh, coming out from the base there so i need a little to uh, to sandpaper everything I will need to insert those pieces there, right there, okay? But I also need them to be precisely vertical, uh, horizontal, sorry, and at the same height. So I also made those two pieces of uh, styrofoam there, okay? And I made a little groove there, a little groove there, simply using my cutting table then um, not a tool there in position in that way then I've uh, slided the the styro from there and it in, uh, it has made those uh, those two groups there okay one for each side because I need that the will be like that okay so this part here protruding here go under the main um, the main border here of the styrofoam same thing from the other side and those two pieces are exactly at the same height so in this case i will be able to have a, a correct dimension a correct height uh, when i replace those 
uh, straight there on top of each other. I pre-made also the, um, the holes with my skewers, as I told you, because I need to uh, respect the part, as uh, sometimes the skewers tend to go right or left. It's not quite simple to glue them. Yes, I should have made or pre-made a guide before gluing them together, but <laughs> way too long to do. So I went this way. And this will help stabilize a little bit the uh, position of the point of the, um, of the sticker there. Okay, so I forgot to simply one or two things. I will grab them. Be right back. Okay, took also a couple of clamps there. Let's go. lines on my cutting mat there and you can observe that this line here is visible almost at the same aid there like that and here I have exactly the same aid here all along these other blue lines so it is uh, perfectly horizontal right now I simply need to add uh, some glue and I will not add the glue on top I will add the glue uh, on the uh, uh, below there some glue First one is done. Then I will need to paint, obviously, because those psychedelic colors I don't like for my uh, village, those psychedelic colors, and obviously. And so this will simulate the base, and this will simulate um, the, um, the supporting. Uh, metal uh, horizontal part you have in every fences okay not very elaborate not to uh, be some uh, strange design some gothic strange design simply plain speaks arrows there with pointy with arrow pointy there very dangerous yes very dangerous but you can see through them quite easily okay so this is my intent to let people see <coughs> through and having a fence uh, I will fast forward, I will do the exact same thing for the second one, but the principle is very, very clear, very easy. <clears throat> so I will go with the second one. See you when even the second one is done, guys. Okay, and these two is done. <clears throat> and let me bring the other one. And using this method here, you don't know how to measure them, okay? Because they will need perfectly aligned there. I will not use obviously in this configuration here, but using the support here. A little support uh, will prevent you for, from going upside down because this style of Amir is very bendable. And also if you superpose them right there, They are perfectly symmetrical, okay? No space, no uh, different space, so 1.5 centimeters of distance between each and every single of the sticks of the, uh, the sandwich stick there. So perfectly in line, perfectly symmetrical, okay? Um, I will wait for the glue to dry and then I will paint them, obviously. <laughs> I will be able to show you uh, even the painted <clears throat> when the paint is done in this part 9 of the 2021 series but hey, uh, I still have a uh, too big amount of work to do okay building construction cutting and everything else I will not show you 
every and single thing I will uh, cut because it will be tedious, not so tedious. It will be limit suicidal. Okay, so let's go with something else. Bye. Okay, change of scenario there. I will need to do a very big amount of work on that piece right there. A little update, what I did, uh, I'm not filming it, because it's simply some work of pencil here. I marked all the bricks here, all the line of the bricks. Yes, I have some black here, uh, but it will be fade out, <laughs> it will be erased once I painted everything. Uh, I've done some little uh, scratches here and there in order to uh, point out that this is an old uh, wall, an old surface there, uh, some different lines here and there, some scratch, etc. Still need to do some scratch, but uh, this is what I've done here on the uh, main surface, on the main wall here. And I've simply traced it with my ruler then i've used my pencil to mark everything okay this is an hb uh, an hp um, pencil by the way guys so not too hard not too um soft and it marks the line and then leaves some black inside so hb and please use a pencil as short as possible because you need, you need to use in this way you need to use this way you need to use this way okay so it will be very easily handleable you can handle it very easily sorry if you have a very short uh, pencil okay sorry for my hands i still have some glue on my hands then i glued the um, mount wall, wall mounted uh, street lamps uh, you have seen uh, last uh, time and then I've made some prolongation here to the wires. The back won't be visible, so I went through there and I've used uh, some more cables. Red is positive and black is negative. I simply used some uh, heat shrinking tube to mask everything. And from the other side, I've already done the DC connector, my usual female uh, DC connector, I will be using to connect uh, <coughs> the, um, the the lamps, the street, the um, wall mounted street lamps to the sector through an AC adapter. Okay, so now a very big amount to work, as I said. Let me just get everything. I need to place. First thing first, I need to place those two other street lamps here on the side there. I will use the same eight as there, it is 6.5 centimeters from the floor there, 6.5 centimeters to the middle here of the hole, and I will place them here. Okay, at both one on this side and one on the other side. So this way it will cover the rest of the um, surface it isn't covered by the original lamps. So this one will cover half there and half here. This one will cover half there and half here plus the middle. Those one will cover the sides, okay? And the end sides. Uh, 6.5 centimeters, I will place them. The problem is hiding the cable. As I am in the corner, the wires, sorry, as I am in the corner there, I can um, use the fact that uh, the wires won't be visible if I'm going uh, in the corner there, okay? In the corner there, they won't be visible at all. Then I think I will go under, I will go through, then some grooves there. Okay, nothing difficult, very easy, <laughs> and nothing to bother uh, about uh, hiding in plain sight. The other, this will be seen from this side, this side, or in plain, this side. The corner there, especially those corners, not those ones that are visible, but the corner that are there in this part here. Okay, so this angle, the corner here and the corner there won't be visible from any angles at all. So uh, I will proceed 
with the holes down there in the corners here and there sorry you haven't seen it i will do some hole right in the, this corner and right in this corner here then i will go also there my marker my pencil whatever not not a pencil this is a acrylic marker and i will go 6.5 centimeters as those are 6.5 centimeters guys okay so the middle of the hole is at 6.5 centimeters i will go the same way 6.5 centimeters no this is 5.6 6.5 is here okay and from the other side too Six point five centimeters. Okay. Now I have to center them. This won't be in plain because this is what won't be horizontal because I have the platform there, so a little difficult to work. Then those those tubes here, those plastic tubes are almost. Let's see five millimeters of diameter something more six and six millimeters of diameter so at least i will have to stay i will go there and i will go I will go not there, but I will go okay at one centimeter here and at one centimeter from the border. There. Uh, okay. something less because I still have here two centimeters if I'm going one centimeter I will have yes I think I will go away. I'm wondering if I won't be going over here over this edge here but no I don't risk anything uh, let's go Where did you come from? I never planned to fall in love But then again no. It is there Obviously I needed to paint everything But I used the guy, the screwdriver as guide for them So now it is there uh, I will go with the, the hole there I went through I simply hope to have enough yes I will have enough wires to get through Same technique.
and then I remove the screwdriver. Okay, yes, luckily I have enough, enough wires to get the, the connection between those uh, black and red and the rest. Okay, and I will make a groove there. I will make the, um, the prolongation there, then the groove, then the cable will be tied. And from this side here, you can see that the wires are absolutely not visible from any angle. Even go yes, just from the top there, but there in the, the corner, but I will not go uh, like that, simply because these will be absolutely um, covered by some sort of roof. And I will come to that in just some minutes. So let's say I will uh, get there the other one done, then I will make an update, same technique here, I will go uh, as described just in a few, second, a few seconds ago, okay? Uh, then with the glue it will be perfectly vertical. I will go and do here in this point, the other one, so uh, see you in some minutes, I will fast forward. Bye! Some minutes uh, after, okay, both uh, lateral uh, lamps are now in place and here too I have the wires there masked by the corner and the same thing I have the wires here and the wires there from the downside groove still missing anyway so the height there the height the total height from the floor is let's say 11.5 uh, centimeters from this side and from the other side is 11.6 millimeter 11.5 11.6 milli uh, centimeters sorry not millimeters and the distance between i don't know if you are seeing there the distance between the wall and the and the lamp there is one centimeter from this side yes 1.1 centimeters and from the other side i hope it's this the same thing not the, not the same thing but i can go there yes now it is correct okay so this is done ah sorry i'm moving the camera let's stabilize it okay four lamps there and everything else let me just clean some mints here i will continue from that point on i will not glue them right now because i need to paint and uh, everything else anyway even if i remove them uh, before painting i will use the same technique i will redo the technique with the screwdriver, I will use the screwdriver as guide and pass the once again through the walls, both wires from each side. And now a little cleaning there, then I will proceed from this point on, okay? Be right back. Now, I simply hope that this uh, point of view of the camera will allow you to see everything, but because this will be an intense uh, session of work guys so this is my original top i've made for this section here and it is supposed to go like that okay it is supposed that here i will have the other building here in the corner that's why i cut here and so this was perfectly uh, at the same level of the, with the second uh, floor with the second level of my layout here on the there on the uh, left side <laughs> okay and this was only 1.3 centimeters in eight 1.4 1.5 centimeters in eight uh, <laughs> I had uh, uh, thought about it, I thought about it uh, during the weeks and for what I have in mind it will not be enough if I wanted to preserve here the 
in the main surface, the main uh, wall there, the main facade there. So I really the same exact profile there, as you can see, I simply put it on top of another piece of styrofoam and I really did the exact same profile there. But instead of having 1.4-1.5 cm, I used a plain complete 3 cm uh, styrofoam panel, okay? Um, now, I will not glue everything together because I still need to work on something there and I still need to be able to remove each and every single one of the uh, of the top there because I need to paint there and I risk to have glued there together the top and still need to do some work on the below level okay I will simply fix this there with my pins in order to have it perfectly in line there with the uh, with the rest of everything okay i will i forgot some pins okay i have the pins with me and i will try to go as squared as possible with the profile there Dice. then i've also really the final part there because the stairs, uh, the other time, last time the stairs will be uh, were finished here in this point with this step here. Obviously, I added two more centimeters, so I had to add some more okay. Then I will fill the gap between everything once I've completed my mission there. Can I call you tonight? I'm dying to see your smile. Now, what I want to do here is work here, all along this part here, because I simply could have had some fences here on top there and go with that. No, I thought, what not going some more medieval times, okay? So ancient Greek park there, some arcs, medieval, gothic, etc. Why don't add something more medieval there? So I made a lot of things, a lot of strange things there. What are those strange things and why haven't I shown you the building process, the cutting process? Uh, simply because, <coughs> sorry, one, the cutting process is very, very long. <coughs> and those things are <coughs> the base for the castle battlements. In every uh, medieval time castle, or even modern castle, you see a lot of battlements on top of the castle, on top of each watch uh, guard tower. And I will use them as this. They are very delicate, I don't want to break them. I will use them there, all along these here okay i will use it as base for the real uh, battlements that i also made them but very e very easy to do so i will show you simply the result and if i went with the previous uh, top there I, I would have gone like this so the base for my battlements with cover absolutely everything on the surface there but having had there these three more centimeters I just have a little overlapping there and it is good to have also I made them some rough some bro broken there here and there 
because this is supposed to be ancient, okay? How I made this, and you can see from the profile here that I have a slope there. I'll cut 3.5 centimeters long stripe of uh, styrofoam. Then, what I made, I made multiple circles there, one, two, three, four, that have 0 0.76 uh, millimeters, so, no, sorry, 0 0.76 centimeters, so 7.6 millimeters of um, uh, diameter, okay? So 1.56 centimeters of radius, sorry, I repeat, 0 0.76 uh, oops, I can, I can do it, come on, let's go, 7.6 millimeters of a radius and 1.56 centimeters of diameter, all of them, very, very small. Then I use the same technique I use for uh, cutting the big circles you have seen some uh, parts uh, ago, but this was very, very tedious because I uh, I was obliged to go very slowly because this is just nine millimeters thick styrofoam and this is very small diameter. So step by step, it took me two and a half hours just to make this piece there. there. Once I've uh, removed the circle, I then cut the vertical parts there and with the uh, with the Mm, with my usual technique of using my uh, cutter, my blade cutter there. And once I've made this, I've used my uh, styrofoam cutting table to make those 45 degrees slope there. Okay, so uh, if I have... Uh, let me go there. Maybe I still have... Yes, not 45 degrees, but I've marked... Uh, the 3.5 centimeters there because this is 3.5 centimeters, okay? The same thing. And I thought uh, I will go, I will leave this part here. So this is 2 centimeters, no, no, not 45 degrees, sorry. This is only uh, 15, 18 degrees, okay? Between 15 and 18 degrees. I marked there 2 centimeters there. Then I went with 4.5 millimeters there. So half of the uh, of the thickness there. Then two centimeters. I needed to have this one centimeters here, plain nine millimeters there. And then I used the inclination of my uh, styrofoam cutting table uh, to cut those uh, this this rope there. So I placed it vertically. Then the wire was not vertical, but was bended by fifteen degrees there. And then I've slided the vertical piece of styrofoam against the inclined um, wire, hot wire there. And I've obtained this, this piece there. And the same technique I've used for the small pieces, more parts there, okay? The difficulties there will be here, because I still need to cut them in order to go precisely uh, once against the other. I don't want to go like this with uh, the junction here visible from this side. I will need this time, yes, to cut 45 degrees there and 45 it is outside, inside, outside, inside, and then I will place them together in order to have a perfectly angle. This will be a little difficult right now, but I need to place them and to glue them together right here. So I will go with some glue here on those two centimeters there and no more because I still want these to be removable. And I will go this way. I should have made uh, it correctly. This is supposed to be 42 and something, 42.3 centimeters if I remember correctly. Let's measure once again. Yes, 42.2 millimeters, okay, 42.2 millimeters, yes, uh, I made those 44.3 millimeters, 
so I will probably go one centimeter over there okay one centimeter over there from this side from this corner and then made everything together then I will describe my battlements <laughs> once I've done this uh, let's go guys okay the 45 degrees cut are done guys so I will go this way I should have no problems at all okay the other side will be the problem there so I have this I will have the same problem here yes I will have the same problem here okay now you see that I've left some more distance here because my intention is to go there. This is precisely the dimension I need. But if I place uh, this one too, I will not have the same dimension. Okay? So if I'm going 45 there and 45 here, maybe I have the same the same thing so let me check everything obviously some gaps will need to be filled with something in some days okay i simply need to check if i've done correctly the basics there i just wanna say i got you right hand and now you're holding on my so this will be my base for the battlements and I will glue it where it belongs using those two what those one centimeter ear of space all along the marking there uh, let's go and then I will proceed with the battlements so let's have this glue together okay it's not a problem if it's ours and mine's alone I got you right handed And I'm just wishing to the stars That we can keep this on Forever and ever Damn girl, we need to talk Don't think you'll know just how involved I am, it's critical to me That we stand eye to eye, you see can I call you tonight? I think I've done the base all around. Maybe just a, a little more here. Ah, you are seeing there. I will add a little piece under this point here because I don't like the this part here protruding from the downside there. But this is the let me just show you from the side of the profile there okay this will be the base for my battlements uh, some minutes to let uh, the glue dry uh, a little because i will need to remove the masking tape then i will go with the battlements okay. the battlements here we go guys those are my battlements i've cut them one by one i've shape them one by one using my cutting table uh, my hot wire cutting table i've uh, just simply used uh, a profile i printed on paper then i've uh, cut one each and each of them one by one so they are nine millimeters thick and they are uh, three centimeters tall and two centimeters wide okay and not exactly the same yes i have some difficulties having exactly the same going by hand with no template at all but then i've uh, passed them through my shredding machine my people uh, my box full of peebles 
and try to age them as I could. So they will be placed here all along the all along the border here, not this way, but in another way. Okay. Let me just go perfectly as much as possible horizontal there. Hope you can see everything. I will remove. I will start from the angles. Here I have corners, angles, corners. One, two, and three there. I will start from the corner there and then proceed this way, this way, this way, and the other way there. I've marked some pieces, some of them here. Uh, let me just show you. I've marked them with some one, with some two, and with some three there. Okay, for me, this is corner one, corner two, and the other one there on the opposite side will be corner three. I cut them at 45 degrees in order to have them standing there and I will go from this side here. I will start by the corner, okay? Let's go with the uh, glue process and everything else. I just want to say I got you right hand there And now you're home uh, And then I will go on from this point on If you are wondering why I added this part here and why the uh, battlements were done like this way here If uh, the battlements were on here, on simple on the edge of the main uh, wall there uh, even uh, trying to see over the, uh, the edge will prevent you from seeing what is what was happening right here in this point but having the battlements and the base of the battlements going way a certain amount of centimeters in my case a uh, half a meter uh, in real case in real life or, or even one meter over the main the main um, border of the wall there allow people to see what was happening there and even attacking them or throwing at them something, okay? Now, this is front. I will go with some other pieces there and also I've made some pieces there. Uh, same thing, I passed them through my shredding machine, my aging machine. I will start one by three centimeters. I hope this is three centimeters. Yes, and those are nine millimeters thick by uh, one, nine millimeters in width by uh, three centimeters in length. Okay, and I will place it right there. Okay, guys, it will take me one hour, one hour and a half to complete it. Okay, so see you when it is done. I will, okay, the profile day, I haven't shown you the profile. Let me just not lose those pieces there. And from the front side, the profile will be this. Oops, I have some glue there. Okay, I will show you everything during the final recap. Maybe they are too much spaced there, but the, those are just the corners because I needed to do some work in order to get everything 
set uh, well evenly distribute so i started from the corner then i've tried to do here but the other ones uh, apart the corner here the piece separating the corner from the first piece will be the, um, separated by the same distance here okay uh, now and i didn't want them to be too tall the pcc uh, they are separating the two battlements there simply because I need everything to be seen from the outside. See, a simply way to not uh, get over the edge, okay? Um, so I will continue this uh, work. See you in some one hour and a half. It took me not one hour and a half, but just simply one hour and 15 minutes to complete it, okay? And this is the result from the, another angle view, guys. So, here we go with the, with the result. So without the painting, this is absolutely nothing because I still need to paint everything. Okay, guys, uh, not perfectly squared there because this is supposed to be aged, of course. And here I made a fourth corner here because I forgot that I had four corners, not three corners. So I had a fourth corner there. I haven't had anything right here in this corner here because I don't know yet if I'm going towards the rest of the of the uh, layout or if I go a corner here. I, I always have time to add another corner there. And once again, this is the result there. I don't know. I still don't know the final result because only with the painting, this will be uh, resolved with the painting. But I think, uh, I don't know, maybe you will disagree with me, but this is a, a good addition for me right there. And for giving it a way different aspect there, okay? So maybe I have a time. Yes, I have always time, but I don't know if this video is long too long not quite long anyway i will try to do one more th thing before the final recap guys and sorry i think i will not have time to paint anything some strange things here i have this cube almost a cube it is uh, uh, seven by eight by eight so almost a cube there okay uh, then I have those four pieces there. <laughs> I still haven't said what, what I am doing or where I want to go, but it is like that. Maybe you will figure out in just some seconds. And I've also cut there at 45 degrees all the angles there, okay? Then here, and this will be revealing, I've done some uh, um, some bricks there, then I've made uh, an arc with a door, a wooden door. Uh, it will be visible maybe when I will paint it. But uh, this is one side and a little windows, a little uh, windows, but not with uh, um, a real uh, glass ancient windows. So the same thing, but just one side with a door, the other side of uh, no door at all. And I also used my pencil there to mark uh, the bricks uh, on every side there. Then I've aged each uh, of the four surfaces with my tin foil here, my tin foil there. Now I will go this way, guys, and this will be very, very, very revealing, I think. Okay, so let me take some glue. Don't ask me why right now I have this slope here that is not perfectly horizontal. Uh, you will understand in some minutes, okay? And
This is just a beginning of a tower, of a watchtower, guys. Uh, 35 centimeters tall, yes, 35 centimeters tall, then 10 by 10, okay? Then a square of 10 by 10. Just the beginning, I still need a lot of work to do on it, but I wanted also to add this one to my, uh, to my layout, and you will see where in just some some minutes guys so i just need it to dry a little bit then i will paint it uh, in some days okay and having cut at uh, 45 degrees each uh, side uh, help me getting a perfect uh, almost perfect square okay right there and uh, so some little difference here and there but hey I can't be always perfect, okay, I've never been perfect, but come on, let's go. Uh, so this will be the main side uh, visible from the distance, okay. See you in just uh, some seconds, this time for the, for the final recap, guys, okay. Time for the final recap, everyone, and I will start from here, from the distance. As you can see, I've made a little mise en place right now, and I have all my 12 ancient Greek gods statues there, and they will be present from now on forever on my layout. So let me just go and do some close up before trying to explain why I did everything I've done during this part nine of the 2025. 20, yeah, 2021 series, sorry. So, mm, the, originally the uh, statues come, came with a very, very little pedestal, too short pedestal. And I wanted to have a difference between people on the floor and statues. So I decided to make some pedestals, some uh, columns to place under the, each and single one of the statues. But why those eight centimeters there, uh, almost 10 with top and bottom. Mars here, or Ares for the Greek, and Athena there, same for both uh, Greek and Romans, are the only statues with weapons on their ends, okay? A spear for Athena and a sword for Mars there. Uh, I will exclude the trident of Poseidon and everything else because those are the uh, two really weapons. Okay, so I need them to be considered as the protectors of the park. They will uh, protect the park from the highest possible level. Not as high as uh, Zeus, as Jupiter up there. there. But this is... Uh, another way to uh, consider them the real, pro the real protector of everything. Okay, so I went with this big tall column, pure stone, pure marble column, then bricks, all bricks uh, column there, then the fences there. <laughs> yes, very ridiculous to have those gothic fences playing with those colors there, psychedelic colors, almost 70s and no, absolutely not. Uh, gothic. Then I have no gate as at all. I didn't want to, the fences to be too claustrophobic to graveyard, so no gate there and no lateral gate, um, not from the left nor from the uh, right side. Uh, but I needed something to separate the inside of the park from the outside here of the park. Two completely different scenes. So gate, yes, columns, yes. No, fences, yes, sorry. Columns, yes, no gate at all. And this side two bricks, columns, fences, uh, bricks, columns, then tall marble stone uh, column. Then I have Hermes or Mercury there on classic uh, two inches, standard two inches, a pedestal column there. Same thing here for um, 
for Hera or Juno there, okay, this is Juno or Hera, two centimeters, and Poseidon, you have already seen it many times, then you have there uh, Venus or Aphrodite for the Greeks, and um, Artemis or Diana for the Romans, the most, the two most beautiful statues there, <laughs> sorry guys, but they are the most beautiful statues. Then you have Apollo right there, same name in Greek and Roman. Then you have there um, Hesta or, no, sorry, Estia or Vesta for the Romans, then Jupiter or Zeus, then Hephaestus for the Greeks or Vulcan for the Roman, then Ceres for the Romans or Demetra for the Greeks there in the right corner. Twelve gods there, just uh, hit there, and Jupiter, Zeus, with the four centimeters, four plus, plus bottom and top six centimeters uh, tall column pedestal. I didn't want to have it too high, otherwise it would be exaggerated. So from the distance here you have the park, not completed. Oh yes, the two mini columns there. I've added the two mini columns there in order to have the final part of the end rails there. And those two are pure simple marble or stone columns there. And this is the effect I wanted for my entrance there and everything else I did. So very long, very painstaking jobs there. Okay, it took me <laughs> A very long time to do them but here is the result but once painted I think it will be more 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 uh, captivating with all the colors in place and erase those psychedelic colors there <laughs> and they are also fluo guys yellow uh, orange fluo <laughs> absolutely awful to see right now I don't know maybe I should leave them as it is for Christmas it will be very, very beautiful, not for gothic, gothic fans. Then nothing modified right there, but yeah, there, yes. Okay, you want to see from the distance. Here I am, uh, from the distance there, okay? Uh, I don't know if it is on focus, maybe yes, maybe not. Okay, uh, I've added the support for the uh, battlements there okay from the distance so support base of the battlements battlements all around then you can see the the last thing i've made the tower still need to be finished i still need to add the same base and battlements on top there of the uh watch tower guard tower there okay so from a close let's have a closer look Okay, guys, from down to top there. And if you are wondering where is the door, the door is right there. Uh, I don't know why, but this is not completely uh, horizontal. So that's the reason why I have this line that is going from upside, downside there. But uh, once painted, you will see the door there, brown there, then the bricks, then the windows are one or from each side there. This is 35 centimeters tall, and it will be even more taller once I added the battlements and the base there. I wanted something disrupting the point of view from the distance, and I thought yesterday evening, no, yesterday night, I think, uh, why not adding uh, the biggest ever seen uh, watchtower in the corner there. Then, as I told you, I added these... Uh, uh, this new uh, support there, this new base, so I made some uh, some stairs, two, two step stairs. I still need to add the same columns I have, the same small columns, one from each side I made uh, right there, the, the mini columns right there, you want, you see that right there, one here and one there, I will add them uh, when I will have made them, okay? So I think uh, 
this is the okay let's see from the side here i still need to have something made for the gaps there and here too some fences all along here i haven't decided yet and also the battlements there if i need to continue on the left the battlements there but i don't think so or anything or if i need to uh take take this uh, corner here and have a 90 degrees corner like in this case but this is a pl plain simple straight line but maybe i should do a corner a little cor a little 90 degree corner i still have time for that like in this case okay so this is a 90 degrees corner here with um, 45 uh, um, degrees angle cut there uh, this will be will need to be glued together once again so once i've completed everything i will need to glue it down now i have a little displacement also the lateral uh, lights there street lamps the one month and the street lights there need to be uh, glued together and you will not be able to see the cables the wires around there once I made everything. Okay, uh, a big amount uh, of work still ahead of me, but this is the result of uh, not all, the entire week, but three days of work. I've been uh, too busy at work to do some more progress with my layout, but this is just three days, no, not three days, three nights of work right now. I hope it's still enough for you to consider it an update for from part 8 to part 9, guys. Sorry. See you for the outro, guys. I promise you, this is not my main job. I have a real-life job and in weeks like the one that uh, will be over in just some hours. I was very busy, so I had no more than three nights to do this update here. Very long nights, I was up until 2 a.m., 3 a.m., maybe more. But this is the result. Uh, I know Victorian village with ancient Greek, with medieval times, with walls, ruins, now battlements and watch tower there. Still need to add the battlements, as I just say. Yes, I'm crazy up here. I'm crazy. But like every, all the cities in the world existing nowadays, they have the past. So some elements of each era of their past should be present in cities, in the village. And here we are. Maybe a too exaggerated Greek part there. But okay, I'm going this way this year and maybe i will add even some more craziest thing in the future so please don't forget to subscribe comment and give thumbs up thank you for watching thank you for bearing my absolutely awful english and if you wish see you next time